In this video, we'll be covering how IEDs are useful against readers and NPCs and see their effectiveness. To create one IED trap, you need a pipe bomb, one plank of wood, and one string. Now that we've got some traps set up, let's see how effective they are against NPCs with armor. Because this is a friendly NPC camp, we will just trigger them to attack me. Now let's see how many of them will be taken out by the traps. It seems they don't want to come out, so let's go lower them out a little bit, shall we? It seems that they want to stay in their um, defensive pillbox and concrete watchtower. Oh, here comes Dale. Let's see if we can lure them out. Looks like they launched two others to ambush me. And as you can see, the traps are effective against people without armor. But heavily armored people, it seems it takes two to three traps to actually kill anyone effectively. So we've learned that in order to use IED traps efficiently against NPCs and raiders, we're going to need to make sure that we have them either injured when bringing them over the traps or to actually let them go over two to three traps to actually kill them. Otherwise, IED traps are kind of useless, but they can kind of look really cool when they go off low. Once I stop managing myself, we'll go over and see how many I've actually taken out and how many are still left of the camp. Seems that one is still alive over near the traps. Let's see if we can lower them over them. Oh, there's two of them. There we go, that one got taken out by another trap. So maybe the effectiveness of the trap is how close they are to the pipe bomb when it goes off. So that might be needed in consideration since all of the pipe bombs are on the right hand side of the traps. It looks like this one doesn't want to set off any traps. Come on, let's see if we can lower them into the last trap. There we go. But nope, it didn't kill them. And it done damage to me as well. I had to heal up a bit and we'll go back to see if we can lower them across the trap if they're still there. And we'll see um, what it takes to repair an IED trap. Okay, they're still here. Oh, the foam's killed me, so that's hopefully we can lower them over another trap, otherwise I'm kind of screwed. I accidentally hit escape instead of F1. Hopefully I can get away and heal up and then go back and insert the damage that's been done. It's always handy to carry spare clothes to scrap into rags in case you need them later on. It looks like the NPC traitor is following me. I wonder if we can trigger them to go over the traps or is it just against hostiles? Let's find out, shall we? Here comes a friendly NPC that's with the trigger. Let's see if he'll re-trigger them. And it costs one pipe bomb to reset the pipe bomb traps. That's good to know. Let's see if this NPC will actually avoid the traps or actually walk over them. Um, nope, they actually go over them. And it didn't trigger them to be hostile, so that's good. So IED traps are useful if you get them to go over two or three or they're badly injured when you go over them. Other than that, they look pretty fucking cool when they go off low. And that's the end of the video. So, thank you for watching. I hope you've learned something. I hope you enjoy the, setting these explosive traps off as much as I do. Once again, thank you for watching. And I hope that if you like the content, that you will like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you would like to see next.